Raising awareness to the threats and benefits of the giant African snail was the focus of a public symposium hosted recently by the University of the West Indies and the University of Trinidad and Tobago. The giant African snail is considered a serious agricultural pest, consuming a wide variety of plants, including vegetable crops, fruit trees and field crops. The Ministry of Health has discouraged its consumption due to the potential risk of the rat lungworm parasite, which can cause meningitis in humans. Despite this, some have been treating the snail meat as a delicacy. In keeping with food safety principles, senior lecturer at the UWI, Dr. Vidya Degans, warned of six key procedures that must be adopted when preparing to cook the giant African snail. These include the collection of live, intact, active snails, and boiling in water at the right temperature. In the soil, we would have seen the snail um, is known as escargot, as, as we had Dr. Ramdwa mention earlier, you know, um, served in, in menus in certain restaurants. But as I mentioned before, that um, applying safety principles is really crucial. Preparation temperature, preparation time. When it comes to effectively containing an infestation, assistant professor at the UTT, Dr. Marcus Ramdor, said it is crucial to understand how the giant African snail reproduces, which is mainly during the rainy season. Key point, threshold of four centimeters. Every time you see something that looking like a matchbox, rest assured, that is a breeder. You want to ensure that you're monitoring that they don't reach a point of being able to reproduce. 4.5, that's what you're concerned about, because at 4.5, four to five months after hatching, they are ready to breed. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, Rick Javed Ali, said the ministry will continue to work closely with farmers, residents and institutions to identify infestations and monitor safe baiting.